Hi guys, welcome to this week's Tuesdays with Terica. Hey, you know what? I've had conversation with Jackie and Johnny Ashmore with J&J &J Catering Service. Stick around. I think you're going to enjoy this. Hey, you know what? I have some friends with me today. Some friends that I would like to share with you guys. This is Jackie and Johnny Ashmore, and they are the proprietors and owners of J&J &J Catering. How are you guys? So well. I'm so happy to be here. I am so glad that we had an opportunity to connect recently um, so that we could have a chance to do this because your story is so amazing. And I am so glad to have walked some of the journey with you guys because um, it's, it's just an amazing testimony that you have. Okay, so let's get right into it. Um, okay, the cook of the family, who, who is actually the, the one that cooks the most? I know both of you can cook, but who is the major cook? Johnny's the chef. Johnny is the chef. <laughs> and as we were sharing, um, how, how did you know that you had a love for cooking, for food, for being able to um, share your talents with other people? Well, I uh, first worked with, uh, I stayed in the kitchen with my mom, mm -hmm. and my brothers uh, went into the military, and I saw my brother with a pan of yeast rolls, and I told my mother, that's what I want to do. Really? Yes. Because, you know, yeast rolls are not easy. Ah. I mean, well, you know, well, maybe they, well, they it is look now, good. but, you yeah, know. Beautiful. They, they <laughs> look good. Yeah. So, and that's what I wanted to do, and I visioned that, and here I am. So how old were you? Uh, nine. Are you serious? Nine. You started cooking at nine. When I was in the kitchen with my mom. Kitchen too. Oh, okay, okay. So those of you who have children that are young, nine is not too old to start no. teaching them some life skills. Right. Just saying, just saying. <laughs> now, for those of you who don't know Jackie, she is also a wonderful cook. Um, so how, how long has it been that even though I know Johnny is the chef and, and you are his sous chef, mm -hmm. but you've been cooking for quite some time too. I have, I have. I worked in the catering service with my mom okay. during the holidays when I was a teenager. Mm. Um, did you want to or did you have to? I wanted to and you know, the little money for the holidays, you know, <laughs> it, it didn't hurt anything. So, and, and I began to, to kind of really like what she was doing. She was really organized. She loved to cook. She was an excellent cook. Mm -hmm. And it, it just kind of rubbed off. So for those of you who don't know, for the um, Glen Road community, everyone knows Miss Tally. Mm -hmm. <laughs> everyone knows uh, the different things that she would put out in the community. So I'm just saying just a shout out. We are very grateful and honored to um, have crossed paths there. Mm -hmm. So that is awesome. So let me ask you this. So how did all of this begin as far as your journey to J&J &J Catering? If I can tell the story as to how we met, this is really how it started. Okay. I was actually helping out a friend to cater a wedding reception for her daughter. Mm -hmm. Glen Road community. And um, Johnny was a guest at the reception. Mm -hmm. He saw what I had done. I displayed the food all around, you know, just ro different rooms about. And he asked who did the food. Mm -hmm. He happened to ask my sister. Mm -hmm. And she said, my sister Jackie did it. He said, I'd like to meet her. Of course, I had stepped out for a while, and when I returned, my sister introduced me to Johnny, and we talked about, you know, all of the food. That was a strawberry treat that he was really interested in. And um, I, we talked about the food, talked about the food, and went out that evening, you know, in a very, very nice evening. And um, he was telling me about a plan that he had mm -hmm. as far as food service. Mm -hmm. And it happened to be catering, and I let him know that I had been working with mom and in the kitchen, you know, the catering shop for a long mm -hmm. while. Very prosperous catering service. So we talked and talked and talked and uh, got engaged about a few hours later. <laughs> 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 and, uh, 
And uh, this is how our journey just started. We we knew he had a plan, mm-hmm. and he and I knew it was orchestrated by God because for him to meet me that day, yes, to see what I was doing, mm-hmm. you know, come on, Ruth, yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay. that I was working in the field that he really, really wanted to be yeah. in. And the rest is history. 36 years later, here we are. 36 years. You know, a lot of people don't have that testimony. Um, I know that as we were talking a little earlier, you guys were saying the difference between being a caterer and actually owning a restaurant. Can you share with our viewers, you know, some of the differences? Because it's still hard work, you Uh, know. But the time, I mean, the times that we, we wouldn't have. Mm-hmm. You know, as you know, and we are married. Uh, we work together, uh, and and how does that work? Because you know, a lot of people, especially after the pandemic, can't even you know be in the same house. I love it. Sometimes. I love it. We're friends first. <laughs> friends first. I'm his mm-hmm. wife, and I'm totally respected as his wife. Mm-hmm. But when we're at work, he's a chef. I'm the sous chef. I make sure his knives and his cutting board is where they need to be. Mm-hmm. I make sure that the items that we need in the shop are ordered, they're on time, fresh baked goods are done, anything that needs to be in there for us to securely do a job, Correct. a catering job. Mm-hmm. I make sure it's there, and he makes sure it's good. <laughs> Best sous chef. <laughs> Best sous chef. Because after all these years, you have to kind of know your partner. Um, what they like, what they don't like, how to prepare. You know, as in being a sous chef, I know that a lot of the credit goes to the chef because of of what they deliver. (laughs) But it's really hard to do everything as a chef. So you do need someone to be able to kind of set the stage for you, right? Well, I wouldn't be as good as I am Mm -hmm. if I didn't have a good sous chef. Mm -hmm. So I'm just happy. You know, I'm the sous chef for Uncle John. Okay, <laughs> okay, okay, and it works. okay. Yeah. <laughs> Only because I don't want him to have to do everything, but okay, that's another story for another day. <laughs> so, with, um, with you actually having gone into business and being a married couple and friends, what are some of the challenges that you guys think that you've seen over the years? Challenges? You know, I really can't think of any challenges because this is what we both love. Mm -hmm. We knew that this was what we wanted to do, Mm -hmm. and doing it together has been no problem. So as far as challenges, no. And I I ask that question because there is someone that is watching, and they will have Mm -hmm. some challenges, I'm sure. But you guys have a unique thing because, as you were sharing, you were blessed quite early Mm -hmm. In, um, in the establishment of your business to not have the stress and the worries. Would you like to share what happened for you to have um, a foundation in getting started? You have to know that this is what you want to do mm-hmm. in any business, Correct. any entrepreneur, whatever you're going to go into, you have to have a love for it. Mm-hmm. You can't just do it for the dollar amount Correct. because that will get old. Mm-hmm. But if you love what you do, you'll do the best at what mm-hmm, you're doing. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, food service, we've been around food all of our lives mm-hmm. as young people. So now it's really a pleasure to be able to get paid mm-hmm. for it, mm-hmm. to actually own the business, to accept or decline orders mm-hmm. that come in. Mm-hmm. So it's not really a challenge for us, but there will be challenges mm-hmm. for Anybody that think, well, we're going to do this because there's there's a lot of money in it. Mm-hmm. You can't. You have to have a love for it. Food, you have to you have to love it. You, I would imagine, because it's a lot of hours in preparation. Oh yes. Yeah, you get to the finish, to the end, or the finished product, but there is a lot that goes into all of mm-hmm. that. So, what are some of the steps that you guys did in preparation to even start the business? Because I know both of you put in some time to even get to this place? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, Well, we had, first of all, we had a, we had a good plan. You had a good plan. Uh, And Lord stepped in and blessed us. Uh, And like my wife say all the time, uh, our very first contract was a good one. And Mm -hmm. we did had no reason to look back. Mm -hmm. Uh, It was, you know, it was a state contract, so it was good. 
It was, <laughs> it was good. It was good. <laughs> and that does not happen for everybody, no. but and it is a blessing. two years was long enough for that. It really was. Without a day off. Okay. Two years. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can only imagine. Yeah. So you did some things uh, in, in another career. You did some mm -hmm. things in another career mm -hmm. um, that helped kind of propel you to be in a place where you were ready to say, okay, enough of this, exactly. mm -hmm. and now we're ready to move on. So what, what were you doing prior to? Well, myself, I was uh, executive chef mm -hmm. at uh, Vince Barone's restaurant. Mm -hmm. uh, I did that for nine years, mm -hmm. uh, and when he sold, I looked at my wife, and I said, it's time for us to get out. Wow. And I said it just like that, okay. uh, get out. Mm -hmm. And during the time, I was doing hair. Mm -hmm. I did that yes, until our were. baby graduated high school, mm -hmm. and that was actually the plan mm -hmm. to, you know, just once they Because it was some the, stability. It was stability, mm -hmm. yes, yes. So. After retiring hair, this is where we've been. Mm -hmm. yeah. I think that is so awesome and amazing because um, a lot of people don't know your story. So what blossomed uh, from a catering service or a catering gig that you had at the time mm -hmm. end up blossoming into a friendship and a marriage. Exactly. Yes. And now a business, mm -hmm. a successful business. So what would you think, okay, so I know as 36 years is a long time to be in any business. I know that comes with a lot of um, standing, a lot of uh, maneuvering, because it's a lot of work that you have to do to make it all come together. But what would you see for the next 10 years? How do you see your life transforming? For the next 10 years, mm -hmm. a lot less standing. <laughs> A lot more sitting on a balcony at the beach, <laughs> listening to the waves, you know, looking at sunrise mm -hmm. early in the morning, sunset in the evening, not really having an agenda. Not having an Our agenda. Our adult children are, are awesome. Mm -hmm. We uh, go to the beach every chance we get. Mm -hmm. And thank God we don't have a restaurant because we would probably be at work now. Correct. Rather than sitting Correct. here with you. I'm so well. I'm so glad that uh, you know. If you would have wanted a restaurant, I would be okay with you having a restaurant. But I am glad for the yeah, opportunity it's that so you're different. here. There's just so much more work. Yeah. In the restaurant rather than the catering. Yeah. So catering, you can pretty much um, flow as you choose. Exactly. And you, what is one of your favorite uh, meals that you like to prepare? Do you have a favorite? Well, me. Yes, uh, you're the chef. I. <laughs> I like making my sauces. Really? Uh, yeah, I make all my homemade sauces, Alfredo, Marinetta, and uh, my brown sauce is, is just excellent. Sop uh, it up with some biscuits and uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, oh, he'll juice uh, it up, make it a glaze for a brown uh, yeah. or something. You know, yeah. it goes a lot of ways. And some cool. great pasta dishes. I like pasta too. So, really? Uh, yes. So do you ever have the opportunity to actually cook um, a dish that you add, or do you only want to be the sous chef? I do cook. I okay. make the macaroni and cheese and the mm -hmm. homemade mm -hmm. dressing, and I cook the collards and mm -hmm. the, the green beans <laughs> and that. You know, he, he'll, Johnny will you do You put things. a little soul to oh, it. Oh, yes. <laughs> soul to it, yes, yes. Uh, and we, you know, we always ask our clients, do you, is there a preference? Mm -hmm. Will you like pork or a smoked turkey? Or mm -hmm. you know, we we customize it to the client's taste. Oh, yes. okay. Yes. So do you, does that mean as you're catering? Does that mean a lot of times for the holidays you're actually working for your clients? Yes. So does that mean you don't get to really spend the quality time with your family for the holidays, or do oh, you of offset? Of course, we have. There are clients that we deliver to on Christmas Day, on Thanksgiving, mm -hmm. but we always deliver it early enough to get home mm -hmm. because our family is usually waiting at our house when we get there. <laughs> uh, or the children sometimes will host at their house. We'll mm -hmm. take the food to their house. Mm -hmm. They'll have it all set mm -hmm. and uh, everything works out. I think that is so awesome because it's really been a family ordeal. It's been a family yes, business. Exactly. Yes. I am so, so grateful that you guys have been able to um, sustain for all these many years and a lot of that I know it has mostly to do with the food, but your personalities and how you treat people 
um, because in the business, I'm sure that there's not a lot of camaraderie, um, I would imagine. I can't wow. say. But you, you guys kind of stay in your own lane and do your yes, own exactly. thing. And, uh, but even with that, you, uh, I know that you have a heart for ministry and mentoring. Exactly. Have you reached out to um, any up-and-coming um, <laughs> young people that have expressed interest? Yes. Yes, there's actually a young lady now that we're kind of, I won't say molding, because she had a vision mm -hmm. as a planner. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, you, you really have an eye for decor. Mm -hmm. So with that being said, I'm like, you know, Johnny and I are getting out of the, all of the linen and chair covers and the sashes mm -hmm. and the chargers and the, all of this. So let me do this table for me. And she did, a, did the cloths and the, the napkins and the chargers and I'm like, Okay, do one chair in the black, do one in the red, and do your. T mm -hmm. And she picked it up just like that. I'm like, okay, yeah. So I'm like, wow. Johnny, uh, we need to, yeah, yeah. So we got linens and the chargers and mm -hmm. all kind of stuff, and we're like, okay, now, here you go. And she is doing an awesome job. Cause that takes just a little bit off of your plate. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Wow. And, to, and I feel like a real entrepreneur is not truly an entrepreneur until you pick somebody up and you know trying to kind of boost them up to where they would like to be and where we would see them growing mm -hmm. and and enjoying what they do i think that is so awesome we, you like guys people. are so so good so and you good. have to give back oh. you have you, to uh, in order to sustain <laughs> yourself you must give back i think you're great uh, you're just so good so good have you achieved everything um that you set out to accomplish in this 36 years, or is there still something else that you still aspire to do? I say it better than anybody. I'm good. <laughs> you, and that's his word. That's his word. I'm good. And, and, and you know, we're good. Mm -hmm. We look forward to actually selling the catering business mm -hmm. in a few years to somebody that's really, really, really mm -hmm. going to hold on to it and, mm -hmm. and be happy. That is so awesome. Well, if you had to leave words of inspiration to any of our viewers, what would that be? Can we start with each of you? Mm -hmm. uh, I would say love your job, stay focused, keep God in it, and it will happen. Awesome. Wow. And you, ma'am? Definitely put God first. Mm-hmm. And... I feel like if it's something that you really love and want to do, then if he's going to take the lead and you follow, mm -hmm. you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. I agree. Mm -hmm. Is it easy to follow your husband as he's taking the lead? Very easy. He wouldn't lead me wrong. He, that's what I'm. That's what I'm talking about. That's what yes. I'm talking about. Did y'all hear that? She <laughs> said he would not lead her he wrong. He would not lead me wrong. <laughs> because I, I, I just love that umbrella. If God is covering my husband. Mm-hmm and my husband is covering me, mm -hmm. I'm good. I think that is so awesome, so awesome. There's so many other things that I would like to um, say, but we're gonna keep this about catering okay. uh, because, because uh, I want everyone to know that if you guys need a good caterer, okay, so we have a combination here. We have some uh, exquisite meals and then we have some soul meals. So you can get a little bit of whatever your taste might be. Mm -hmm. This is J&J &J Catering. Now, you might want to not sleep on them because we don't know how much time we got left, okay? <laughs> I just want to thank you guys so much for just being here with me today. This has been so awesome, so inspiring, and that's what we try to do is uplift and inspire. Oh, thank you for having us. Thank you, you are more than welcome. Okay, guys, this is it. Terrica Talbert. And I am sponsoring this show with Century 21 Blackwell & Company. Until next week, enjoy. <laughs>